All right, we're back with more Drod 4. This game is very hard. I played another Sokoban game uh, in the interim called Leaf's Odyssey, and I've confused most of what I played in Leaf's Odyssey for Drod, so hopefully I remember what I'm doing here. Let me go ahead and get started. We were in the middle of this tricky puzzle here. I have to kill all of these uh, roaches and then get out of this room. Imagine my options are quite limited here. Already dead. Okay. There's no asymmetry to exploit here. I can't get there either. I have so few options, it seems like it shouldn't be that difficult. slightly closer last time all right let's just walk through the options here so once I hit the orb one option is that I could just not move so option number one and not moving is pressing five to wait then turning my sword that might actually be it holy shit it was pressing five to wait okay there's still one more guy here okay that was hard uh, uh, keep that in mind that that can be necessary for solving things but I had the door open permanently there backspace right but I can only backspace one movement here so I should have a blue door that's open now in theory somewhere I just have to find it these rooms with the green doors I already completed it may have been enough to open a blue door somewhere so I'm gonna try to track it down I can't get back out from here, can I? Did I have a way to still cross these arrows here? Obviously, I got into the room to the left somehow. I don't seem to be able to move back through there. Oh, I can diagonally go, okay. Yeah, I gotta get used to the diagonals. Those are unexpected. Okay, so this room is not done. I have a turn limit to succeed. This is the roach that makes little baby roaches if I don't kill it in time. stuck after killing it hmm and there's this yellow block here I do have a suicide button right R for restart there we go I think this is already unwinnable so I can't get back out of there once I kill the 
approach. But I do need to stop it there. Maybe not, actually. I'm basically moving the location of the yellow block every time. So there must be some yellow block location where I can... Trap it without getting trapped myself, I guess. I guess we want to let it spawn babies, maybe, because that traps it somewhere that I can do something with it. Let's see. Not here. It's the same problem from before. Okay. Um, I forget. The Roach Queen, does she only spawn eggs in like a tile in front of her or something when the clock comes around? doesn't do anything for me. I think I can actually kill her in any of these tiles, and I get stuck immediately. We just need to get her to spawn it somewhere in the middle of the... Still not right, I guess. Yeah, she's still not spawning even if she's in like the center. I was under the impression that the roaches were like, they would try to make something in a legal space around them as soon as it hit the 30 at the top, right? that not right? I have details about her in particular. Monster reference. Roach Queens. So it makes the most sense to me. Let's try it on different time steps, I guess. Maybe she just can't spawn them here because she's walking on lowered yellow or lowered green tiles on the floor. I think that's the problem because all the tiles on the floor here are tiles that can or can't be raised. So I can't see any legal tiles for her to spawn babies onto. Unless if I'm just obviously missing something here. Twice north, once east is the name of the puzzle. That might be helpful. I'm open to tips for this one if someone has a, an idea for how to solve it or a hint as to something I could do. I think it's probably that I'm forgetting or missing something about the baby spawning mechanic. Twice north, once east. It started by going east at the beginning. That seems to suggest I have to like track it around a couple times here. It could be something that I'm forgetting mechanics-wise, so you can just go ahead and tell me that if you know I'm obviously missing something. 
I thought it was going to be making her spawn a baby, which would change her position on the track somehow. But it seems like it's illegal for her to spawn babies. I know her running pattern is based on trying to move away from me as efficiently as possible. I guess confirmation that the solution doesn't involve her making babies at all would be helpful. Always ends up at the opposite diagonal there. There is a cracked wall through there, but I can't reach it. Solution does not involve spawning babies. Does it involve breaking through any cracked walls? Twice north, once east. I feel like I have no control over her behavior here. Let me start it back from the beginning and then try to do it in order. But the only thing I can think to do is to move as efficiently as possible with her. So we do one, two. She, okay, so I went as efficiently as I could. She still got stuck long before I could get close to activating the next gate. So then with her being stuck there, again, trying to move as efficiently as I can. Same issue. Guess the top left corner is the only corner that has an up arrow and then a left arrow. It's the only asymmetry in the puzzle, I think. Like, I can kill it here, but then I can't get out. Oh. I guess I could get out. Okay, I misunderstood. Well, that was much more straightforward than I thought it was going to be. I guess I need to do that kind of thinking more in this, I think. Oh, why that was even there. That's weird. I guess. Okay, get out of here now. So theoretically, I can fit through here this already looking for a blue door that may have opened recently I think we did this already this is all done already Ooh. 
This one's not done yet, okay. Once north, once west. I can do with that roach. I want it to be freed there. I think I think I do need to trap it down here. What kills me if I wait? I don't have time to turn around though. I guess maybe I can get into the hallway to the side there. It's promising. Exit level, secret room. Yeah, it probably was still a secret in that room I left behind. Maybe some weird diagonal. I saw another cracked wall, but I thought I put the sword on it and it didn't work. Maybe it only cracks from a certain direction or something. Babies. I think if that baby spawns, I'm just completely hosed. Yeah, because then I can't get back out. We're okay. Might need the babies for other reasons later, I guess, but... Then I can't get out when I'm in here. from there. Okay. Mm. Same deal. I have to move this roach down the other way. Mm. Well, they might already be in a place that's untenable. Kingdom for a is this currently unsolvable button, right? <laughs> I'll put this kind of game a lot more. Um, might have been unsolvable as soon as they got stuck at the top there because they can't turn around and leave. You don't start stuck. if the other ones become stuck or not.
that trigger just so I can explore around here. I think we established last episode that secret walls will always have a visible crack. There's no point in bumping into walls that don't have a obvious crack there. So I gotta look for a blue door. find that room I left behind now. I think I did that before. Maybe I didn't angle it right. Secret room. Okay, so it's a variant of the same puzzle from earlier. I thought I turned my sword at it. I must have been like slightly off. So this time, this is like a Baba is you puzzle variant. This time it's the puzzle that I thought I was doing last time because I think it is complete rotational symmetry. speed thing. Don't think there's any stopping points where the roach gets stuck somewhere that I can move off the tile that it's on. Oh, but there are spots for it to spawn babies, so I think I was a little premature with my solution idea about last time. Okay. Here's a baby. It might be enough. Okay. Had the right idea, I just had it too early. Also a thing that happens in Baba sometimes. But generally there, is it true that there won't be breakable walls that are just completely pointless? I guess those are pointless on the inside. Maybe they just help you see that there's stuff breakable there. If I see breakable walls, there's probably a secret behind them as a rule. Blue door is somewhere. I can't see a more zoomed in version of the map, can I? That might be worth trying to find my way to. Zoomed out, rather. Okay. Bladeseeker, and she's trapped. Ryan. Don't worry. I'll take care of these queens and get that green door open. Ouch. Right. 
Oh, they're coming through the corner there, I see. try to like save after I've made some progress. I get through that diagonal like immediately. Yeah, they can all get to me through those diagonals. Okay. doesn't help. Okay, I think that's progress. I've caused myself any problems. problems here. Oops, shit. Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. That sucks. Oh no, it's Blaze and she's trapped. Don't worry. Just hit it too okay, many times by mistake. Get that green door open. Happy with this time slot here. And then decide if I want to go for the checkpoint over there before spawns happen here. Let's see. Ah. Fuck. Um, let's do this. Now back. Ah. I get back multiple moves. Time saving reasons. Ah. Fuck. For some reason, I really want R to be repeat and not respawn, so I keep hitting it accidentally instead of plus to do the battle thing. Checkpoint if possible, but 
We don't have a lot of time steps remaining here. Oh, they can still get me from there. Okay. Doesn't really change much. Let me start this project over, though. I have to remind myself what the basic geometry of this game is. There are certain shapes that are, like, fundamentally more dangerous than other shapes. a little bit. Okay, let's see. Die there. Yeah, I didn't save anywhere in the middle of all that. Hmm. okay for now. Hey, how you doing, Missa? Try to save again if I can. I have made progress. Less bullshit happening. I don't know if I can get back out of here successfully now. Let's see. kill this queen, although I think the ones are going to come out of that corner there and fuck me up. Ah. Yeah, it follows me around the corner and kills me like instantly. Still able to get me. I probably have to make that little tunnel at some point maybe before I can go much further here. I think that relieves pressure from certain lanes there if they can come through the middle. I mean to do that. Okay, Let's see if this helps. I did kill another queen, so I think that is permanent ground that I've made up there. I guess all these little corridors, I can pretty safely kill them without getting swarmed.
Might be able to squeeze out one more queen here. Not like that, though. Let's try to kill these guys in the corner first. Doesn't afford me a lot of time to get away. kill her before any of these other guys come for me. Okay. You appreciate all the checkpoints they give you in this. If I die if I move in that diagonal. Can't really bait any of them any closer to me with the way things are currently laid out. get to a steady state with them there, which is not ideal, but that diagonal is always threatened by both, okay. Still a problem. This is a tricky, tricky room. for me to escape here. Probably need to dig through that other wall there to have a chance. Always off by like one tick. I need like two reset steps. Seen that coming? I'm gonna screw something up so bad that I have to start the room over. I'm not gonna remember what I did to get this far. Uh, let's see. Okay. Try breaking this wall here. Do break the wall, but okay. So how do I want to deal with this guy? Queen dead. Help a little bit. Yeah. Very vibe heavy room, I agree with that. Need to make individual good decisions for long enough. Yeah. 
Oops. to learn the geometry of where I'm safe when I'm just standing around because I know that there are places I can safely stand. Okay. So we're getting there slowly but surely. Getting there. Now that it's that I'm dead. Okay. First try. There you go. I'll meet you at the entrance to Smuggler's Maze. The attack on the Twainans will begin soon. done that one's done I think I've done almost everything here I guess I could try going west I don't know that I can actually get through to that side of the room there so let me just go back up the stairs really quick see if there's a blue door that's been opened Find old Greybeard quickly. He must be at Hevel Hall. Find old Greybeard quickly. He must be at Hevel Hall. So, clearly I'm still missing an exit from here somewhere. I guess this was the blue door that I opened by killing everything in all the other rooms. So this is the final puzzle of the area. I think I'm done with the roach pits. I guess, can anyone confirm that? And maybe there's a couple more secrets, but... I don't see anything else to do down here. Find old Greybeard quickly. He must be at Hevel Hall. Okay. And it does want me to take the boat back to find the next place I'm going to. <gasps> Evil Hall, potentially. Ok, 
kind of like the more open approach of this game. It's a little crazy. A secret here forever ago. I'm not being able to do anything with it. Did everything here for a while ago, right? This just goes to the court. That's not Heval Hall. So do I need to be back across where the boat is? Is there somewhere else for me to go that was there for progress at this point? When I freed the character, it said to meet them somewhere, but I missed the dialogue line, and I don't think I can recall it, right? Somewhere across the boat. Left them behind back there. Okay. Believe a future Mars said note to myself that anytime there's dialogue and they mention a place, I need to like write it down. I might only get one chance to hear it. Oh, here we go. Uh, let me write that down now. Uh, boat goes back to base, and then when you prompt boat, you can pick where to go. Okay. That's helpful. Old Greybeard. Okay. Guthro had encountered trapdoors before, and knew that as soon as he stepped off them, they would fall into the pit below. Of course, he was a heavy guy like you. As you youngsters probably already know, just like green doors only open when the monsters in a room are cleared. Red doors only open when all the trap doors are dropped. Yeah. Gunthrow know that too? Yeah. It's a good thing too, or he might have gotten himself stuck for a long time. <laughs> no kidding. Okay, so we're going to get some classic puzzles in the design space of this game, sure. I actually don't know the solution. I think this one we go like this. This one I think is a little bit more forgiving. It's not actually... Well, I guess I can diagonal off of it, right? There we go. Then we 
Get a blue block there. Which is zone progress, if I remember correctly. Being able to do diagonals on those makes it substantially less difficult. Right, so what's the trick here that I have to come in from the top? Okay. Oh, okay. To come in from the top both times, so. Need to save half of this building, essentially. I don't know if I can still recover that. Let me see. thing I need to do is go to that guy. Hmm. How can I possibly make that the last thing I do? in a really echoey room. <laughs> and already be screwed. Yeah, I think I am already screwed. This double wide area kind of sucks. I guess the double wide area might actually save my bacon. Let's see. I think I'm already dead, but. Oops. Only I can skip this, right? Look at space, okay. I think I left too long of a gap over on the left side there. If I hadn't have screwed up. Yeah, that's why that's too wide. It's too wide on purpose. Okay. Other than that, though, I think I have the right basic idea. Actually, I might need to keep that tile as well so I can get back out of there. The fact that I can go diagonal is really crazy and difficult for me to wrap my head around. That does afford me a way to get back. Okay. Greybeard. Okay. Whoops. Grateful for the checkpoint placement. Big time saver. Okay. Tricky, but doable. Ooh, ooh. 
Haven't done that one yet. Uh, once I finish RS3, I'm going to go back to old school RuneScape to catch up on all the content I've missed out. It's come out since I last played it. But for now, I still have... I want to get the quest cape in RS3 to consider myself done. Ways to go. Um... Hmm... I have to exit through the... I've already failed here. We have to start this from the west. I think that's right. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it myself. I'm going to do another video essay about RS3 as well, so I want to make sure that I've seen the majority of the game before I make that. It's already dead. I don't have a particularly good eye for this brand of puzzle. I've seen it in many video games. Sounds like the area is heavily themed around it. The fact that I can diagonal gives me a lot more freedom to putz around with it, but... over there that I have to get out of containment. It doesn't trigger the platforms to drop, which makes sense. Okay. That's simply a way to go out this way. Doesn't do anything for me directly. Also doesn't do anything for me. Oh, balls. Okay, so I have to do it again, but this time I have to exit out the west side. That's... tricksy. Alright, um... It's already dead. No, that's also dead. How do I get out of here successfully? I have to come back here at the very end. Or near ish to the end. I guess the diagonals make that puzzle a lot easier than it would be in another video game. Okay. Okay. So we have to lure the roach out of containment. Don't want it to get recontained elsewhere. Oh, now I'm already in trouble, aren't I? 
Yeah, okay. So we lure him out, and if we go straight this way, he gets stuck in here. Which is fine. And we get that again. Okay. Don't think going down is gonna help me at all. I think he's not at a good angle. It's not. There must be a reason for all of the level design elements here, so I probably do want to actually capture him in this thing. Really get him in the higher one. And that has a better angle to the exit here. Yeah, there we go. Oh shit, I think we're okay. I don't need to get rid of all the red ones here. Nice. Okay, what are we doing here? Mm. I can get in this room. I actually don't need to kill all the enemies. I only need to remove all of the tiles. Make sure I can still get out of there. Whoops. Uh, I'm already dead. Kill him to get it over with. Have to go right. I have a down arrow over there that I have to be cautious of. Down arrow is a hassle. I might already be dead because of the down arrow. Let's see. can't cross these sections more than once. It's like blocking my uh, ability to diagonal through if I step on one of these tiles here. So if that's the case, then I need to completely clear out this section. So I need to be able to get back across now. I think I've I think I died when I started the puzzle. I think doing it from the bottom has been a waste of time. Yeah, because I don't think there's any way for me to get out now. I'm always gonna burn my bridge to get back out, so. I wonder if this is the exact same problem with the left arrow. The left arrow is easier to deal with. Try to deal with the left arrow problem now. I don't know if it involves some I 
I'm just gonna go because I want to understand if I've already created an untenable situation for myself. So I have no way to get across, but I could maybe if I go at diagonals to get to the arrow. Fortunately, I don't get an early checkpoint over here, which makes me suspect they don't want me to come from the top. Otherwise, they'd give me a checkpoint here, but can't say that for sure. Okay, so if I want to still have a way to get out of here, we need to preserve the corners. This is hard because it's like, because of the placement of the checkpoints, you really have to make the right decisions very, it has a time to death problem, right? If you fuck up now, you're not going to find out for a little while. Um, I guess I'll just ask, is this solvable by starting from the south? Because if it is, I'd rather do that because there's checkpoints there. That I don't have access to if I start from the northwest. Usually I would assume that the checkpoints are going to be a uh, a guide as to where it wants me to start. But this down arrow in the top left corner feels like it's a trap. I think I might see how to do it. Cannot be solved from the southeast. I guess there's no way to get back out of there if I start here, right? Yeah, I'm just checking. Oh, I can try to trigger the checkpoint as soon as possible, I guess. And the assumption that I'm expected to go north here. So I don't know how I get. How the hell do I possibly. I might be able to get off the tile once I step on it. It's, I'm not sure though. whole room. Oh, shit. Damn it. smartly here so I can still get out. We're going to get to the start of this and then screw it up. still gonna have one tile that I'm not gonna be able to get out from. Maybe if I kill those early I'd be okay. Okay. I 
can't get out then. Not from where I was a second ago, right? There's no way I could have gotten out. If I leave both halves open, I'm screwed. There's no way I can exit. Wait, no, oh, I guess we're okay. Damn, that's hard. Counts is done. Secret room. Hmm. I get his attention by releasing the, uh, to the corner traveling salesman stuff okay then I can't get out with this guy I don't know if they're actually telling me the intended order they're expecting me to do these in possible for me to get all three yes. same problem no like diagonal shenanigan I can take advantage of here Same problem, but I can't get out now. I don't think I see a way to do this. Looks like there's not enough ways for me to get out and still hit all three of the orbs. Um... The regular soldier guys right what's their deal they like try to go after and kill roaches if they see them right i don't know if i need him to activate one of these any path i take Figure out what opens the roach in the center, I guess. Is it this guy. No. One of these must be redundant. That's the second to last one. The second one. It's the first one. That is the last one. This one lets that guy out. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, this makes more sense now in theory. He smartly passed there to kill 
that roach. And then if both roaches are dead at the time that he gets there, I get released. Okay. True makes more sense now. So that means, let me watch him again. He hits one, two, three. He hits the top three, so I have to deal with the bottom four before going in this little pit. He also still needs a way to... I guess the bottom five, actually, right? One, two, three. But he hasn't touched the the one in the middle of that bridge, but I guess I can still use that bridge. Okay, we try doing that from the right side because he doesn't care about it. That uses up two of them. Seems to suggest to me that one or more of these orbs is unnecessary. I can't imagine what else the answer could be here. Some of these orbs must open the same gate, essentially. That opens three, four. Oh, and it flips them some. Okay. There are definitely some gates that are irrelevant. So let me check here. We got... Three, four, five. Let me uh, make a screenshot of this and make it easier to keep track of it. Just mark what all of these do. So that one's three, that one's four, that one's five, three, four, five. All right. This one is two, two, that one is one. That one is, what is it, eight? At least two of these are redundant, I think. Or at least one at least one of them is redundant for sure. Seven. And this one is six and seven. Oh, five and six. So, but the five and six one is dangerous because he's going to flip five and turn it back on. So I guess that's the order I have to do things that the uh, roach already has to be past that gate before he turns it back on. And when I go in and hit this, that by itself doesn't flip any gates. Okay. So I probably need to do... One, two. I don't have a solution to eight, though. That's what's really confusing. I thought I was going to get the ability to hit one of these without exiting that area. Well, let's see. I'll hit three, four, five... And he's still in there. So I need help. Um, chat, someone... Is it possible for me to hit all three of these orbs and then get back out? I feel like I'm looking at it and it seems impossible. I guess I can do it entrance by entrance. So if I start from this entrance, I do this. There are no choices until I get here. 
And then the only choice is to go diagonal south. I mean, I can do this and then get out. I guess I don't need to destroy all of the platforms. Okay, maybe that's the trick to it, that I don't have to destroy the platforms. Okay. And then I do need to hit seven somehow. Which means I have to come at this from the other direction. Sorb, I still don't think I can do though. <sighs> Does seem impossible for me to hit orb seven under any circumstances. Because I can't get out of the little prison. Only way to open those three gates in there is to hit this orb here. Right. So he hits these and they're all open except one gate. Well, they would be if I had hit the five. Confirming that this is in fact not happening. Then I can't get back out, right? I'm stuck in here until I have to have also freed the roach from the side there, but I don't think I can get out and release these orbs. Hmm. Uh, I guess I'll ask again, is there a way for me to hit this orb and still get out? I don't think, I don't think it's possible, right? I don't even think there's any diagonal shenanigans I can do to get out successfully. Hold on. Okay, there was no... Diagonal shenanigan there that I could use to like get across the water either Thought maybe that's what it was gonna be pretty sure the puzzle the puzzle is solvable from this state, but I just don't know how to get to that orb down there I have to hit it or there's no way for the roach to get out of there Cannot hit that orb without getting stuck. Okay, that gives me an idea. Oops. Need to fuck up the path so that the knight has to path down and hit it. Okay, that's smart. So, it means I preemptively have to hit this one that I wasn't hitting before. He's not going to hit number two, though, if I do that. Why this gap is here other than just to fuck with me. Let's see. Still gonna have a problem with this orb here though. I don't have a second thing that hits that. I don't have any way to get the make sure the guard hits it. So 
I can do this. And just watch what the guard does. I think he's going to completely skip the second orb, though, which screws me. Yeah. He is going to hit the one I need, but then four is going to be open. And six is going to be open. And I can only cross... But so many times here. If I do this, I'm screwed. Because then he won't be able to get to the orb I need him to get to. I guess... He'll be able to cross twice, potentially. I don't think he will cross twice. I think he'll go in and kill the roach and then stop moving, so... I can't get him to, like, go through one side and then come out the other. Um, I guess he has to come out the other to be able to kill the roach once he's freed, but... This is an optional room, too. Maybe I shouldn't do optional rooms. Um... I think I understand in principle what I'm supposed to do here, but it still feels like I don't have enough inputs to be able to hit the orbs I need to hit. I have to hit this guy myself now. I have to eliminate part of the bridge. But now that orb doesn't get hit anymore. And I can do this, I guess. But now the guy doesn't get across. If I do this... I can't delete enough of the bridge to force him to cross the way I want him to cross. Um, let me try doing this. And then this, maybe? Let me see what that does by default. He still neglects two of them. Is this still solvable with these two floors being dropped out? I guess the whole idea is I'm learning I can drop out the entrance to a bridge and that negates the entire bridge. I guess I do that, and then he has to hit that one. Okay, I think that's the idea. Two. That's cute, I like that, that's a good solution. Oh god. I thought he was gonna kill the thing, I didn't realize he was gonna come get me. He like lures it down to me. I guess that that almost feels like that's intentionally there to fuck with me. Okay. Insane. Cool level. Okay. It's done. Did this one right. Hope there wasn't another exit through the south there, because I'd have to do a puzzle again to get there. I think I'm done with this area, actually. Oh yeah, this is blue now. Okay. So technically, did I only really have to go talk to Greybeard, or was I only able to leave after doing all the puzzles?
Okay, so I had to do all the puzzles to leave after talking to him. Okay, well, I talked to Greybeard. Did Greybeard give me directions? I didn't write it down. I was supposed to write it down. I don't think I get a reminder of what's going on anywhere, do I? Because he said something forever ago. I guess I could just go to other locations just to see what's there. see your leader. That's our distrust bird, but you shouldn't go in. Brekteer's been overrun by Tuenen warriors. They've taken him prisoner. Uh, don't worry, I'm here to help. Then this passage will take you there. Please find Ardis. Okay. Help us, Gunthro! Two enemies have overrun our city! Alright, nothing to do in this area. An interloper. Charge, men! Charge for honor! Charge for bravery. Charge and never stop charging. Gunther had heard of the prowess of the Twainen warriors. They were experts with their swords. Uh, and could find their way. Uh, hey. uh, yeah. Uh, okay, you have to get him from a specific angle. It's tough. Complete the room without turning your sword. Seems difficult. Uh. Don't have the pattern down for them just yet. that orb and we'll fight i need you to help me with something first it's funny mm. really struggle with being able to see these rooms sometimes oh. You're like trying to drag them along a wall. Not great for my brain chemistry for whatever reason. Okay. Oh, you're kidding me. Can't reset it after that. That's annoying. Already be standing in the right spot when I activate it. Your bravery. Hit that orb and we'll fight. I need you to help I'll save next hurt. time, I guess. I had a better understanding of like what I think I can click on these right yeah to see what their connections are put that in my notes save some hassle can click orbs to see which 
blocks they affect. Save first. They can dig. Okay. Those guys. Wolf shit. God damn it. I think I could kill these guys in whatever order then, right? be dead. It's not. This is one of the games where the main character acts on the frame. Like, when simultaneous things occur, the main character wins. And I just played a shitload of Void Stranger that was the exact opposite. So I'm probably never going to memorize how to fight these night guys. It seems pretty crucial to your ability to succeed against them. Getting in here, Razarun. Yes, I am. And you're going to help me. It's a one time thing. a smartly path toward me, I guess. Only starts pathing toward me. Okay, I see. It's very specific. He's still, like, pointing toward me. Yeah, his pathing rules I don't think I fully understand. Um, he tries to come toward me if possible. Yeah, that's what I was trying to get him to do a second ago. But 
If he knows a smart way to path to me, he will smart he will smartly path toward me. Guess is the idea. possibly turn him to hit that one though. I think once he comes out into this hallway it's game over for me. Maybe I've already had him do all the work I can have him do and now it's appropriate for me to try to kill him. Yeah, and time to death I can't tell when I fucked up. I guess I need to, like... Study what all the buttons do. Okay. It's a lot of roaches. Okay. Understand their movement pattern. I can't even really tell if this one is solvable from the south or it has to come in from the east, from the west, I mean. die if that happens. Must be a safer tile I can fight them from, I guess. Yeah, this is promising. Oh, they can cross the water? Not expected. I can't cross the water, right? I guess. Still die to the one that's on me right now. There's some kind of pattern to crossing blades with them, or I think if you've crossed blades, it's always possible to kill them within two moves, depending on what button you press, but I have no idea how to adjudicate that at the moment. You guys have a monster entry. No, because they're just like guys. Life, universe, and everything. Haha. -ha. This one I'm worried is just completely unsolvable from either the north or, or either the northwest or south. And there's no way to know when you walk in the room whether you're already doomed, right? I don't want to spend the time trying to figure it out if it's doomed. I 
think if these guys are permitted to come at me like that, I'm going to die for sure. Okay, he's going to let them out basically no matter what. Yeah. This enemy is going to break my brain. I just, I, I guess I need to come up with some kind of formula that I have to follow every single time based on different formats of me facing or not facing them. Or it's like, okay, once you're crossing swords, you can always move perpendicular to them. And I can do that indefinitely and nothing helpful happens. Okay, that's maybe helpful. So if I'm pointing the sword at them, they are gonna sidestep and then I can kill them. Let me make a note about this. Uh, red sword guys need to precisely position. Uh, point sword at them, make them come toward you head on. They will sidestep at last second, then swing to kill, question mark. These guys might be too close to each other for me to succeed here. All right, I guess this could also be a map that's deliberately intended to teach me that. Whichever unit is closer to them, maybe. Still need room for them to... I guess the idea is that when they're facing my own sword... I was under the impression that when they were facing my own sword, they would just walk into me and kill me. But I guess the idea is that I'm, like, blocking, so they have to sidestep to be able to hit me again. Okay. I think I get it. Shit. More ways to kill them in close quarters. Both doing that, I'm dead, though. All right, this room, again, very worried that it's unsolvable from certain entrances.
All right, this is promising. Can I not do the rotation thing to kill him? That's interesting, because I feel like that, by the rules as I understood the game, I always thought that I got to go first, and that was why I was confused. Maybe things happen in, like, order of rotation? So since I'm on the wrong side of him, he gets to go first here? I feel like if he was lined up directly with me instead of diagonal with me, then I would get the kill here. get me okay don't know what was different still quite confused about that but what do you do Try to memorize the timing here, I guess. Okay. Probably gonna have to leave my future self on this screen, which is uh, which is kind of brutal. I still don't really understand how I'm supposed to deal with these guys. Okay, that makes sense. I think if I get them at a diagonal like that, they just come forward and kill me immediately. Let me see what happens if I go east here. Promising, maybe. I think this whole area is supposed to have multiple solutions. It would make sense if it did, but... Okay. Seems good. He's going to command me to dag no matter what I do. I don't think I can recreate these inputs perfectly. So, uh, if red sword guys are at a diagonal lined up with you, they need to sidestep, then take one more step, press five to wait so you can turn to kill. If they are uh, orthogonal, You can simply wait once, then turn to kill for some reason. Yeah, so I guess I've proven it's not true that gun throw goes first when simultaneous turns are resolved. It's like some weird rule based on rotation. All right, finish this. Should try to save, actually. I don't want to risk fucking this up, though. Two, 
two little guys down here. All right, uh, Future Mars said you still have to open this blue door. Uh, you can check the map here for rooms that show as gray or white, right? Something popped up when I came in here, but this room should be done. So I helped that person out. Um, yeah, see, oh, I guess it, that's weird. It didn't show as done the first time I went in there. I guess that's busted. So yeah, go through here, do whatever puzzles in this room, and uh, good luck. Review the future Marsta text file. I put some notes in there today. There's a new enemy you're fighting that's like a red soldier who's particularly annoying. Um, you kind of just have to, you can't brute force them. You have to memorize what their weird specific patterns are to be able to kill them. Okay. Cool, this game is fun, but extremely hard. And I feel really stupid while I'm playing it. So apologies to people watching. Uh, next up is Potion Craft.